I'm Mike Thompson, and this is going to just about conclude the series on the hot wire foam cutters. What I've got here, I'll call my goal post. It's simple PVC. I didn't glue anything together on this one because I want to make sure that I can change it as necessary. These are six inch arms, and what I found recently is that sometimes I'm needing to cut eight inches, so I want to just pop these suckers off and replace them with longer ones. So what I've done is cut the end off of an old extension cord, both ends in this case. I've tinned the leads on this end, just dipped them in flux, and then let the solder run into the, into the fibers there. My banana plugs finally came in, so I might actually attach those, but I may not because these work just fine for now. And I don't see this as really being a permanent structure. But anyway, so I've got one wire running up each side of this tube. Then I have soldered and crimped on these alligator clips at each end of the wire. Now, I had to drill these holes in the side of these for the wires to come out, because what I used to do was have the wire come out the top, make a U-turn and clip back in here and attach to my wire in there. Well, I really don't want any current traveling through my goal posts. So, I go ahead and just clamp them just like that. Now these holes on each side are drilled at a bit of an angle so that the wire doesn't have to make a really sharp bend when it comes out. I'm hoping someday to maybe have just like a, a device that clips into the end of the PVC that allows me to attach and adjust and does all my current and everything. That way I don't have to modify these pieces here all the time. Because what I've had to do is drill a hole here, I've had to drill a hole here, drill a giant hole here and here. Whereas if I just had pieces of PVC that I could interchange, I could get all different shapes of cutters really easily and then just have to clamp on like the, the receiving unit, I'll call it. So that's what I plan to do in the fairly near future. But I don't really use this one a whole lot just for you know quick cuts through uh, sheet stock or something like that. Or maybe if I am doing some hand trimming, I would use this for a free form thing. But it's pretty cool, but so far I've found not super useful. So I'm going to go ahead and improve it at some point, and then I'll post a video about that as well. Thanks for watching.